Smokey's going to be Damn. mad. I know. Wait. Do the Brits have their own Smokey? I... What's his name? <laughs> Nigel? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another anime reaction here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. It is AVR Squared, and we are here with our Vinland Saga Episode 11 reaction. I'm Kyle, my wife, Christine, our husband, O'Brien. You guys can check out more great content here on the Genreverse. Give it a subscribe. Uh, anime reactions, reviews, uh, literally reviews and coverage on all things in geek, pop culture, entertainment, not just anime. Uh, LRM online.com going through a bit of a facelift which is cool hopefully our dark mode will be back soon but go there every day for all entertainment news uh reviews celebrity interviews from the uh lrm youtube channel and more and hey we do have some merch linked at our uh, red bubble is linked in the description box below check out brian's channel pulp mythos here on youtube also linked below all right guys let's uh watch Vinland saga season one episode 11 Are you being carried on your back? <laughs> oh, he's just chilling. Relaxing. <laughs> classy Brits Cla classy Br I'm joking guys <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh, no. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to go with the one that whether you whether you believe in the in the divinity or not, there is a lot of um, evidence for historical uh, Jesus. So I'm gonna go with at least the guy we know existed, most likely. I believe, but mm -hmm. there is the actual like evidence and science and historical records that do exist. They don't care. Yeah. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I know he wants a fight. Till Rick and Morty come and mess it all up. <laughs> Funny episode this past season. Who's 
can we just take a moment and like appreciate the fact that in this this you know bloody action filled while still character and drama filled you know series we're getting a serious philosophical and theological discussion between uh two relatively ancient and relatively uh are uh two relatively ancient but one m markedly more modern religion and uh just two very philosophical different viewpoints from go kill 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 to you know turn the other cheek right great all in anime love it although i will say this back then christianity no like i <laughs> no well no one no one was allowed to or no one had the opportunity to learn to read for themselves so yeah, everything so was the, the take, powerful corrupted yeah man. in the church itself not necessarily the faith and and yeah. i'm sure i'm sure that goes with a lot of uh religions um that have more uh um that have more i don't want to say diversity and as in like oh my faith is more diverse uh, but have more sex or whatnot when when you have all of these different um uh aspects to it it's it's important to understand the difference between the uh those in charge of it versus practicing and and especially like christine brought up in the in the past where even those practicing were really at the mercy of those in charge to tell them what they <laughs> what the word said let you know not being able to read it themselves mm -hmm. that dude is crazy yeah Lush. Better hope them archers are well aimed mm -hmm. and <laughs> those arrows aren't uh, all messed up and hit the prince on accident. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> it's a trap. I'll give them to you, but we still got to fight. Mm -hmm. mm. Tactical withdrawal. You guys got to learn this this phrase. <laughs> They're too proud. Um. There are there are many times through throughout history where if someone had just not thought of it as a retreat, but a tactical withdrawal or a uh, uh, redeployment of forces, I mean, really, the world would be vastly different. Yeah. Watch it. 
Doting your chicken. Bok, bok, bok. <laughs>
Hey, there's some uh, dinner, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't want to eat it now. <laughs> Telling you, he's, he's Yondu, man. That's that's what he is. He's he's Yonduing this shit. He's a skinny kid, good for thieving. Well, he was an idiot and and good to direct. And yeah, sure, you're getting something out of it. But I I I honestly do feel like there's a lot more care below the surface than he would ever let on. Friendly fire. Does he speak? Like he just. He has. We've seen him pray. Yeah. yeah. Target acquisition and identification. Very uh, important. You probably yeah, but the shouldn't person say you're that. talking to isn't necessarily on the same side. Genius. <laughs> Here comes Thorfinn. On a flaming horse. Poor horse. Distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Which one first? Damn. Mm. He knows where to stab now. I mean, he has for years, but... Well, he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you dare. Now nah, we got a little, little time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want another shot. Helga's brother. That'd be funny. Y'all are gonna run out of air to breathe. I know, right? <laughs> Man, you guys need to get going. Either get on, either get on with it, or get out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little, I'm a little saddened by no more, no more fight right now. I was, yeah. I was hoping for just a bit. Bit more fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he is learning his name carries weight. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Took them both out. <laughs> He does not care. Oh my god. It's a woman. Mm. I was thinking that might be a possibility. Yeah. Well, now I know why she doesn't speak. <laughs> so give it away. So here's the thing. And I'm not sure because I, I don't, I'm not as familiar with like history for this right here for the king of, of Denmark and whatnot. Um, is there an actual prince who's then running around undercover or has been kidnapped or like there was a switcheroo or something like that? Not necessarily with Thorkel, but at some point, right? Mm. Or has this, is this a case of, you know, there is no male heir. Mm. Let's try to push this the best that we yeah. can. I'm not sure which, which way it's uh, going. Um, but it sounds like, uh, I always want to call him Axlad, but I know that's not the name, the way you would pronounce it. Um, uh, but when, uh, it seems like he definitely suspected something. Mm. So that was a good episode. What'd you think, Brian? Oh yeah. Great action. Great. Like you said, the whole beginning, all the discussion about religion and death. Great. I uh, really dug that, Christine. Yeah, um, pretty good. A uh, lot of a uh, lot of talking. What is... <laughs> yeah, I wanted the... more blood. <laughs> yeah, uh, only only because they they uh, uh, the way they set it up. But I, I like mm -hmm. it. It's it's a, yeah, it's a good it tease. Good. It's a good tease as as well. But uh, sometimes you know your your bloodthirst has not been satiated. So exactly. You know. Maybe next episode. No, I, li I like the way that they draw things out because um, it doesn't feel boring. It doesn't feel uneventful. Sure, you're hungry for more, but then there will be some times where it's like a lot of bloodshed and you're like, man, when can we get back to uh, the character drama story stuff? Um, and that's good because the show keeps you engaged throughout and leaves you wanting more. Yeah, and the yeah. dialogue that they do give you is important. Oh, yeah. I like so. it. I like it. Um you know, as a as a as a uh, Christian, I always enjoy hearing uh, other takes, points of views, uh, uh, especially things like historical. Like when I um, there's a uh, uh, series of of channels I've seen where they'll have journals or letters written uh, by people dealing with early Christianity, both you know early Christians and you know Romans or or uh, um, uh, whatnot. Uh, dealing with early uh, Christianity, and it's always interesting. It it really, really is to see just how your own faith has has grown and changed in the world. Um, so I, I really appreciated this episode. So, uh, anyone else have any thoughts? No, cool guys. Check out more content here on the Genreverse. Uh, reviews, reactions, podcasts, live streams. I've been doing some Counter Strike gaming, uh, watch alongs, and more lrmonline.com for all uh, entertainment news, hoity-toity movies, geek pop culture, uh, you name it, we cover it in entertainment. Merch linked down below as well. Brian, say something about your channel. Well, Mythos, check it out. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.